We're looking at the Microsoft Surface Duo. So Microsoft really did steal the show. They brought out a slew of products that were predictable, but some were not predictable, you know, like, you know, the Surface X, you know, where it's got the LTE connection. Um, but, you know, we like to talk more about mobile phones as well as other technologies. But yeah, mobile phones is really something that we've seen. And they brought out two folding phones in terms of what the form factor is really meant to be. And it was the Surface Neo and the Surface Duo. And the Surface Duo is interesting because it's a product that is running Android. This is something that isn't a surprise, but it's kind of like a surprise where maybe in the past with you know microsoft having their own mobile operating system we maybe i kind of maybe suspected that they might have resurrected it but them using android is something that is indicative of what you know google did with their software updates for android 10 in terms of you know supporting folding screen phones or foldable phones in terms of the ui and it's something that obviously they showcased and they kind of demonstrated with um you know samsung with their Galaxy Fold when they did their developer conference with their Infinity Flex platform. It is a concept. And as you guys can see, it says coming holiday 2020 into the beginning of the new decade next year. Since Damien's a guest, kind of get his opinions first on um the surface. On the on the surface duo. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. I think I think for me, I think for me, I I think the folding, the idea of the folding um kind of like mobile phone slash desktop platform is um is really interesting because from from myself going to like events and things like that having a device that can potentially work as a laptop as well is it would be a game changer mm. so like if anyone's going to do it it's probably going to be microsoft who can cross that divide from um computing to smartphone mm -hmm. um i like i think the form factor in that note that that notebook style is actually really really nice i think mm. it's probably the best Although it is two, technically two separate displays, mm. uh, rather than the one, the, the fold doesn't feel as um, as intrusive. So it yeah. feels like a, like something you'd have in your bag, like kind of like a little moleskin notebook or something. Mm -hmm. And um, I think from that aspect, it's, it's quite a cool product. Mm -hmm. um, it's it, it'll be interesting to see if they get beaten to market by another competitor because it feels like. Um, like I know you mentioned before the stream started, I'm not going to steal your quote then, but it's like a concept car, isn't it? You yeah, yeah. Like a concept car, and then you, you kind of put the ideas out there and you're telling everyone, oh yeah, we make we make things, we can do things, um, we can think ahead. And it feels like Microsoft are kind of like thinking ahead. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, I, like, I like the aspect that they work, I like the, the fact that they've worked with Google as well. Working a lot with Google means that there's, there's clearly something going to be going on there further down the line. Yeah. Um, and you can see with, you can see with how good their, Microsoft launch is quite good. So they've got products on the Android ecosystem, or I'd say ecosystem, but they've got Android platform applications running. And I thought maybe that was like, um, maybe that was a signal of Microsoft intent to kind of like get into the, get into things a little more with on the Android side of things. And we all know how Windows Phone went. You've all used the Lumia. It was a really good camera hardware let down by the fact that you had no app ecosystem. And yeah, it ran really smoothly. But at the end of the day, if you haven't got the app ecosystem, you're knackered, aren't you, in this day and age? And, um, and 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 this is where what you're saying is it is two separate devices it is two separate screens it isn't using yeah. anything you know crazy like a flexible screen mm. oled panel from what i believe it is it is using lcd and you know this is pretty much like an image on the screen with it and how it looks in that retrospect but where where microsoft has cracked it from a hardware level is that hinge their hinge mechanism to me looks very very simple but very sophisticated at the same time because the form yeah. factor is very slim so you think it being slim and it has to like hinge all the way around 360 where it's running an X platform, you know, you think it's not going to be durable, but it seems like they've been learning how to do a hinge. That's where they put their R&D mm -hmm. in, in terms of hardware, right? And then obviously mm -hmm. like the milled aluminium, how nice it feels. I think hardware wise, they've made it their own. They've embraced the bezel because mm -hmm. obviously in terms of like, you know, the usability, they want it to be much more of a functional product than trying to be all screen all the time right i think their biggest biggest strength with the neo which is running windows 10 x and then obviously with this is making sure that the continuation of how the software works yeah really pulls off that to me is what was impressing me when i saw it on the windows 10 x platform with the neo whereas now i have more confidence because obviously google were carrying this on from when samsung were doing their infinity flex platform in terms of you mm -hmm. know 
what 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 how a folding phone should behave or a foldable screen should behave when you're going from one place to another when you want to run multiple apps or you want to open it in this way and i think i think if they can nail that right they can make what unfortunately someone like lg were trying to do much more sensible in that retrospect having two separate screens as one yeah you know so i don't know what people think about it i wasn't I think, as... um, do you not think though from like i understand and i see people in the chat saying that they, they prefer the single the single fold out is one display all the way across you get that you get a lot of um it's an extension of your workspace isn't it so you can have a bigger maps which yeah. i think is brilliant i think this this isn't this i don't think this is targeting the same you uh, I hate the term user base, but potential user base. Mm. Because this this feels more like a work device. Yeah. It feels more like uh, targeted at the business end of the uh, end of the market. And that's somewhere that Microsoft seems to be going anyway, apart from when this their other surface laptop line. So may, maybe this is maybe this is a completely new direction for their own efforts in the smartphone space because this is technically a smartphone. It doesn't feel like something that you would I wasn't sure about it initially because I, I generally like the angle I was coming from is I was thinking that that was be that was gonna be the, the resurrection of Windows Mobile, but maybe for enterprise. You know, that was yeah, that was yeah. that was I was coming more from not from the consumer, but I was thinking yeah. they're going to start with enterprise. They say, look, we're going to make it much more focused. They didn't do it right at first. They didn't do justice by takeover with Nokia, running our own software. Everyone was looking at Microsoft mm. to be that number three to give even more competition to Apple and to, uh, to Google, right? And even more to Apple because actually it's their own in-house software, right? Mm. But they flopped, they didn't do well, but it's like, I thought that we're going to resurrect it, come back, enterprise, and 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 go with that route. Find it didn't. It makes sense. Yeah, I... you use, use use a mature platform. Put your own spin on it because they can they can go down the route of like every other OEM skin out there and just kind mm. of like put their own services in there. And their services are arguably some of the best in the industry. Yeah, Excel, yeah. Uh, yeah, PowerPoint. Yeah, like they are industry standard, and Indi I think that that's one aspect that that they can really like outshine everyone else because you can tailor make it for the hardware i mean you, um, you you have people that go to university and get qualifications to know these softwares in and out you know yep, yep, yep. for for yep. on a professional basis especially like yep. something as complex as excel you can have web professionals um infra web infrastructure professionals um it professionals in general and this could technically just be their diagnostic device yeah and even if that even even if they're not selling them to the general public they could be selling millions to enterprise every year and yeah I, i'm it's interesting because it's a, it's a new form factor and when there's a new form factor it always becomes interesting whether it's a flop or not in and my opinion anyway because we don't see enough doing innovation in the hardware space really in terms of the form factor no we, we 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 don't my case and point of where i was hoping that they were going to resurrect their windows platform was to have more control in-house to really yeah. show that cohesiveness that they did with the neo so when they were demonstrating the neo that was running windows 10x may i was thinking the way the the way the keyboard flips up onto the screen it detects it on a magnetic and a hardware to firmware to software level it adapts the screen automatically it fits it it can like mm -hmm. that's something you have control over and it looked good and i said that that part of the experience the same way i get excited with how when you know when the galaxy fold opens from the small screen at the back to the it's like it's instant it's like there's no there's no delay and it seems like a trivial thing but it must have taken a meticulous amount of time to make sure that there wasn't even a split second delay of the app that you're using on the small screen to the big screen and it's just instant you see those things you want people to kind of like naturally realize oh this feels nice i can just you know mm -hmm. it's such a it's such a simple thing but if they mm -hmm. notice that little delay it's like oh don't you know something about it just doesn't seem well put together so now that obviously they don't have that control of the duo version and it's android mm -hmm. they need to really stick close to google like my biggest mm -hmm. thing is as close as they need to stick with google whether it's the money that they need to pump in to you know get people that work in google to be in microsoft like a dedicated team to do i don't know what they need to do right but they need to do everything to make sure that it grows within a year of what they've announced it to be a concept device and a concept platform in my eyes for it to really mm -hmm. be a finished product because where i think it's fine that they're doing this because like i said they're, they're taking the, the the car manufacturer's route of let's just say detroit auto show or paris auto show or whatever mm -hmm. 
they've got their finished products but they bring out these concept phones and idea concept cars of ideas of how design should look or technology should look you know like how audi did with the daytime running led lights those were all yeah. concepts and then all of a sudden it's like cars That's that don't yeah you know it, it's 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 that kind of thing right microsoft's biggest job is to make sure that software wise they stick close like velcro they stick close like super glue to android and google to make sure that even if it's the little little things of how apps open or go to another page or this or you know it needs to work you know for it to for for people to kind of overlook the fact that yeah maybe the design isn't as finessed but in its own way it has a very microsoft identity to it that's one thing i like about mm -hmm. it it has an identity that when you see it you realize that this is a microsoft product this is a surface product and that to me is more important than maybe trying to be overly flashy like maybe like something like what jamie were doing with the memix alpha having a more of an identity of where people can see your product and they're easily identified to it and they can understand your design language to the point where it's like this still looks beautiful as a microsoft product i think that's more important as a hardware like you know certification tick and in the software experience there i think is what they really need to know so overall that's kind of my opinion on the surface duo it's interesting. I don't want to say it's impressive straight away. That's the key part. I think how they've demonstrated how the software just moves cohesively like that. That's going to be the magic sword. The, the hardware on things like the Mate X is more exciting. Hardware on things like the Galaxy Fold is more exciting. The hardware itself to me doesn't, it's not that it doesn't look exciting, but it isn't anything apart from that really, really portable and thin profile and that sophisticated hinge mechanism which i think they've just nailed the hinge mechanism right you know it's using lcd form i believe it's not oled you know it, the kind of form factor it is we don't know the aspect ratio what it's going for there's questions in my mm -hmm. eyes but i just have more faith in what they can do to make the software experience more cohesive i think that's where if they can get it right which it seems like they're doing right when it comes to the surface neo as well as the duo main important thing is stick close to google have your vision make sure google can back it with the software support and i think that will trump everything else